Hello queens, I'm back at y'all with another client tutorial. As y'all can see, this is the look I'm going to be creating. I started this tutorial off a little different from the others. I went ahead and moisturized and cleaned her face off camera, so I'm just starting to fill in her eyebrows. And to outline them, I'm using my Nika K eyebrow pencil, and this one is in the shade Dark Brown. Now that both of her brows has been outlined, I'm going to start filling them in from the back and working my way to the front. For the front of her brows, I'm using a light brown pencil from Nika K to fill them in just so it can have that nice ombre effect that y'all know I love. To clean up her brows, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer and first I'm taking the lightest shade which is medium beige and I'm using it to clean up under her arch. I apologize for my lighting y'all. I'm going to be honest and tell y'all that this tutorial was a little all over the place. When I was filming this, it started raining and then the owner of the facility that I work in told me when it rains as hard as it was raining this day that the lights go off sometimes. So I was really rushing and not paying attention to my lighting. So so some clips y'all may have to bear with but at least you can still see what I'm doing so now that the bottom of her brows is clean I'm taking my buffing brush and I'm using it to buff out these two concealers the top of her brows I'm just using the color medium sand which was the darkest concealer I like to use a darker concealer on the top just to make it easier to blend into the foundation once we get to that step Now that we have one nice and clean eyebrow, I'm just going to buff out the concealer and then I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other side. So as y'all can see, we have two good looking eyebrows, if I do say so myself. Before we move on to eyeshadow, I'm taking my Derma Blend Translucent Powder and I'm using it to lighten up the front a little bit more. Once that's finished, I'm just going to be applying my eyeshadow base. And for today's eyeshadow primer, I'm using my Be Perfect Base. Y'all should already know this. Like, I use this in, like, every video. If you haven't tried it, I feel like you should. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. But I applied this product all over her lids. Now I'm taking that same buffing brush that I used to buff out her eyebrows. And I'm just using it to press everything in place. The first eyeshadow shade that I'm taking is the orange shade from my Juvia's Play Zulu palette. So I'm taking this on a blending brush and just applying it to the outer edge of her eye. And once I have the color built up, I'm going to drag this color up towards the front of her eyebrow. Next, I'm taking the brown shade from the Zulu palette and I'm applying this in her crease just to intensify this look a little bit more.
time to cut this crease child so to cut her crease i'm using my ink light gel liner and it's in the color number 94 and i'm just going to be sketching this out using this small flat synthetic brush i apologize again for my lighting y'all as you can see it's very very bright but i think i would rather it be too bright than too dark because at least y'all can see what i'm doing but i like for my cut creases to be very round so i'm making sure i round out my shape first then once i have it to my liking i'm just going to fill it in with that base and then buff out any excess and i'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side to cut creases baby okay they cut they could really cut you in half but we're not gonna talk about that now i'm taking this pigment from ashley lee and it's in the shade orion's gold it's like a yellow gold color and i'm just pressing this right on top of the gel liner this pigment is going to serve as a base for our glitters so that's why I like to do this step it's really optional you don't have to do this but when I use glitters y'all I like for them to pop as much as possible so as y'all can see I'm really pressing that pigment on to her cut crease and once that's finished I'm taking these two glitters the first one I'm using is from the Beauty Wiz and it's in the color Tink. Y'all should know that I love this glitter. It's been in my tutorials back to back to back lately. I think it's been like in the last three looks that I've done. But it's just this pretty yellow glitter and it has like a pinkish undertone to it too. That gold glitter y'all, I don't know where I got it from but I'm just applying it to the end of her cut crease and... I'm pretty sure you can find it in any type of art store because that's probably where I got it from, which is why it probably doesn't have a brand name on it. But you can just take any gold, make it pop, make it pop, make it pop. And I did go on her eyes with an adhesive before I applied the glitter. Now that the glitters are on, you can really leave it like this, but I decided to go on top of these two glitters with this iridescent chunky glitter. I'm pretty sure I ordered it off AliExpress, and I only took a little bit on top of these because I'm not really a fan of chunky glitters, but I wanted to do something a little different. And once I have that finished, I'm just going to line her eyes using my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner. I decided to do a thin wing, and y'all, this was the hardest step about this whole look. I don't know how these other Instagram makeup artists make this look so easy, but this step right here, this almost took me out. I know it probably looks like a piece of cake on camera, but y'all, I was really struggling, okay? I would never do this again. I usually outline the eyes, well, line the eyes with liner before I even add the glitter, but for some reason, I just felt like... I don't know. I feel like going out my comfort zone, girl, and this is not for the week, okay? I will never do this again. <laughs> I apologize for my head being in the way y'all I ended up finishing the other eye off camera just because it was giving me some trouble girl but we have two nice wings and y'all know I can never leave nothing alone so I decided to add an accent line as hard as it was for me to do this wing liner I decided to add an accent line and the accent line I wanted to do an ombre accent line so I did a lime green one and then I did like this neon green one right behind it just so it could have like a little fade and the name of these liners will be in the description box down below but moving on to the face I went ahead and cleaned the glitter off her face now I'm going in and I'm moisturizing her skin again to moisturize her face I'm using my Pond's moisturizer and to blend it all in I'm gonna be using a damp real technique sponge For foundation, I ended up showing y'all two shades, but I actually only went in with one, which was the shade 238. She has really, really fair skin, so I didn't want to use the other one and make her look too dark. So as of now, I'm just taking the foundation and I'm applying it all over her face and I'm going to blend it out using my foundation brush.
I highlight her face. I'm going back in with that Elf Hydrating Concealer and it's in the shade Medium Beige. To blend out the concealer, I'm using the same brush that I used to blend out her foundation just so everything could be as seamless as possible. taking a little bit of that concealer and I'm using it to clean up the edge of my wing. Now I'm just blending it out using my Real Technique sponge. Before I blend out her under eyes, I'm going to go ahead and contour and to contour her face, I'm using my Julia's Place foundation stick and it's in the shade Sokoto. I'm applying a little bit more concealer under her eyes and once I have it all on I'm gonna blend everything out using my Real Technique sponge. Excuse my hair, y'all. I know it's looking a little bit nappy back there, but you know what? It's okay, because you're supposed to be looking at the makeup anyway. So to set everything in place, I'm using my Fit Me Press Powder, and I believe this one is in the shade Pure Beige. Set the contoured areas of her face. I'm using another Fit Me Press Powder, and this one is in the shade Mocha. To further mattify her face, I'm taking some of my Dermablend Translucent Powder. Y'all know I love this powder, okay? This and my Fit Me, they're like my go-to powders. But I'm just pressing this into her skin using that same Real Technique sponge. Now it's time to do these under eyes. So I'm lining her waterline using some black gel liner. And I like to take it on a Q-tip because a Q-tip is just easier to apply. And I only took this like two-thirds of the way. And once that was finished, I took a purple eyeshadow. When in doubt, I purple out, okay? I took a purple eyeshadow and I just applied it to her lower lash line. Now I'm just taking this silver glitter and I'm applying it to the empty space that I left underneath her eye.
going back in with that foundation brush and I'm using it to press in any powder that I have resting on her face now I'm taking some medium blinks some medium blink eyelashes and I'm just applying them on her eyes she wanted some big blinks but she was scared of 25s so I decided to go in with the mediums they're about like an 18 if I had to guess Yes, we're coming together so now I'm just gonna highlight her face and to highlight her face I'm using a champagne colored eyeshadow Last but not least, it's time to do these lips, child. Time to do these lips. So I'm outlining her lips first. And to outline them, I'm using my Nika K Dark Brown Lip Liner. doing an ombre lip so I'm outlining her lips first and then I'm gonna go back in and fill in the corners for the center of her lips I'm taking this lip gloss from absolute New York and it's in the color natural I'm gonna focus it in the center first then I'm gonna take whatever excess lip gloss is left on the applicator and I'm apply it right onto the liner and that'll basically be the finished look and we'll be getting into the grand reveal so I'm gonna let y'all watch you ready to see? Period. Yes, I'm ready to see. Oh, period. Oh, mm. I look fine. Oh, I'm. See, I told you it was giving me pride. Look. As y'all can see by her reaction, this tutorial was another success. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you stay tuned for my next one. Bye-bye.